All right, hey guys, what's up? This is Bull. If you're wondering only how all my adventures are doing, welcome back to some more devlog. Yes, I said devlog. Devlog number eleven. This is the second take because the video keeps resetting all my audios, so I just did a whole recording without audio. Yay! <sighs> For fuck's sake. Anyway, um. As you guys can see, everything's ready. We learned Collision today. And as you can see, this video is 26 minutes long. The actual video that I'm going to show is not 20 minutes long because this is the non-time skip. Well, overlaps, time lapse. Yes, time lapse. That's what I'm looking for. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, I started at 7.15. It did only take 26 minutes. I started everything at 6 p.m. Because I converted, well, I recoded everything into UPR. No, URP. That, that's what it is. URP. So now I can do lightings and stuff like that. And I've been learning like global lighting and a few things. Uh, I'm going to make a, another project to learn that before I actually like try it inside of my actual game, which we'll do that down the road. As of right now, we are focusing on other things than that because we don't need it right now. We don't need it right now. Not right now. But yeah, as you can see, eight minutes. This is the glorious thing of having time lapse because I can just do that anytime. But anyway. Yes, I'm making a sacred uh, towel set for myself right now. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Because I, I, I did it perfectly the first time. And you guys know, well, some of you guys know doing this again a second time is kind of freaking awkward. Because now now you, you don't have the expectancy of it. <laughs> but yeah, I had to make uh, solid layers and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I am following the tutorial of a YouTuber by the name game dev experiments which i always leave their link just so you guys can know that this isn't a tutorial video i'm not teaching you guys how i'm doing this this is just progress that i'm showing as i'm learning and the progress of the game as of right now some things i will leave out just because i don't want you guys to like know every single thing of the game just so you know that you guys will be blind on some things and some things you won't. <laughs> but as of building the whole game itself, I will show you guys that at least. But in the future for like longer term things, yeah, I'll probably skip over that and start uploading regular like different videos and stuff and keep you guys in the dark on a few things just so I won't spoil everything. At least with uh, NPC codings and stuff like that, you know, I don't want you guys to know what the NPCs say or things like that. Right now, I'm trying to play with camera, you know, expand that so I can see everything that's going on. Not only that, dude, oh my God, for us VTubers, the developers of VTube Studio actually just released like this cool little tracking thing. Like that goes off your NVIDIA card instead of like, you know, I think your CPU, which is great because dude oh my god i can move around a lot more and my gpu is like eight gigs so i i use that now it's using like five gigs and six megabytes right now which is not bad i don't think i'm gonna lag when i play games anymore so i can hold off on like streaming pcs now <laughs> hopefully we're gonna see in the future because outlast the Outlast Trials actually did cause a little bit of lag. Now I'm adding like colliders and stuff like that. Like I said, if you guys want to learn how to make this stuff, hey, check out Game Game Dev Experiments. He's doing God's work and my job. <laughs> and I'm learning from it. It's always nice to take like everything slow, you know, not be overwhelmed with like seven to five hour videos. Like, don't do that. If, if you found a game that you want to make, kind of slowly go into it. Movement is always first 
before you try anything else or maybe there's somebody who's already making like you know the thing that you're making you could just go along with their video if they're teaching luckily somebody is <laughs> Okay, so now I have to go back into my player controller and put in things to make sure that my sprite knows that I make sure that my sprite knows that I am going towards a collision wall and won't walk through it. I do do a little bit of a goof real soon and this goof is mostly me thinking I screwed up something in my coding, but it was mostly that I didn't layer something right. And I'll pause it and show that because <laughs> I clearly didn't layer this right. <laughs> okay, now I have the game to basically recognize how far the collisions will go to keep me back. Now show something pretty neat with this little part of the code too. But now I'm making sure I can't, I just can't go through it. And I'm pretty sure I do everything here. Oh no, I have one more little line of code and I have to tab this up. But making this was actually kind of fun. Not gonna lie, it was it was a lot easier than starting this. Because <laughs> I didn't do it right. Okay. This is gonna be the big no-no that I did. I'm not supposed to put this as solid object for this layer. I'm supposed to put the solid object layer here. And I do a goof. It's supposed to be, because when I heard him say, change layer to solid object. I was thinking this. It's actually that we made a new line of code that made a new option that goes here. That's where I did my goof. I goofed. Yes, I did. I really goofed. So yeah, I figured that out later, but then I do another goof and I changed my solid layer that's supposed to, well, basically I did something opposite. I was supposed to change this solid layer layers up here just so the game knows that this is the solid layer for this not my character then i'm in the game walk over it and i'm just sitting here like huh did i fuck up my coding no you goofball you didn't fuck up your coding you're just a dumb dumb you're you're big dumb dumb that clearly missed something <laughs> and then i'm going back in his videos i think this takes me quite a while I think this takes me like four minutes or three minutes to actually like realize what I did wrong. Yeah. Wolf, did you figure out what was wrong? No, you didn't. I just skipped like two minutes in. Oh yeah, and I think I slowly started following through the videos just to make sure I did, did everything right. I'm just sitting here like, I did everything right, what did I do? Like I said, this is supposed to be right here. Watch my dumb dumbness. Give it, give it a second. Boom. I changed it back to default. I wasn't supposed to do that. That was right. That was right. That was supposed to be there. That was what I was talking about is that when I was on here, I I was supposed to do that instead of putting it on my like player. And now I'm down here looking for it like a dumb dumb on the solid objects. This was right. <laughs> now I go back to my character and I change it here, but then I have to get rid of this. Boom, dum dum. Now I'm thinking to myself, huh, maybe maybe I still doing something wrong. 
Then I thought to myself, whoops, I'm supposed to go into my solid and put it back. But my also dumb dumb self is thinking that the code is down here. <laughs> oh my god, I fixed it. <laughs> Everything is right. <laughs> there, no more collision. <laughs> I am I am stupid. Very stupid. Took me a while. But I want you guys to pay attention how far my character's head goes up from this collision. Because I'm about to do something fun and neat. As you're mostly going to see the uh, difference on the side of the house more than anything. Look how close I am from right here on the side of the house. This is as far as I can go. I can't go any further than that. Now I'm expanding the camera just so I can check every other collision too. I probably got to change the towel so I can change like the layering so you can go behind the house too. Now, as you guys can see, I made a mistake and doubled this. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I control Z this, <laughs> but I changed this three to a two which changes like how much my um, collision is on my buildings. So every solid objects has like a closer, has a closer, more, has a more closed um, collision. Let's, let's say that. <laughs> now I'm kind of a lot closer. To this from the front I didn't check the sides but you but you'll see the side difference later Boom. I am now on top of my house climbing it like spider-man I this is not supposed to happen I changed it back to two and you guys will see the difference of it So I made a just adjuster for myself. Now, now this is as close as I can get, which is fun. <laughs> as close as I can get to that house, and now, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> that is the entire video. This took me a lot longer than I needed it to be. <laughs> it is currently. Freaking 919, <laughs> the point where I should be asleep right now. This is this is troublesome. I, I'm supposed to be asleep around like eight, you know. But screwing this up, I won't be asleep until like 10 or 11 until I render this video and at least have it uploaded and loading. Because that, that's what I want to do. Because when I get back home, it's going to be completely done loading and I could just upload the bitch. <laughs> but like I said, I'm stupid. And oh no, OBS is stupid first. No, not OBS. Well, OBS is kind of stupid too for um just unbinding my keys in it, unbinding my mic anytime like I um update my NVIDIA <laughs> graphics cards. Every time I update my NVIDIA graphics cards, it just takes off all my audio and it pisses me off because I always forget to check all my audio and I the only sad part is I did everything for my stream settings and putting it back, but my actual recording settings, I did not. <laughs> so yeah, I have, I have one like scene for like streaming and I have another scene for recording. So different, you know, settings, my dumb, dumb self did not go and change my recording se settings before I uh, did this and that video was perfect and I hate myself for that <laughs> but I did it right this time so shut up anyway hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys on the next video which that devlog is going to be on making you know tall grass and making encounters in it encounter logic is what they said I don't think we're gonna have actual like Pokemon showing up in it yet 
But in my case, Monster Girl was showing up and knew it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I ever can't make a video in time of my next devlog, I'll, I'll probably give you guys a summary of where the game is headed. I, I've already typed it down in the comments of my last video for someone. If you guys want to go back to that, con go back to 10 and read that. But um, I'll give you guys a premise of where the game is heading, heading like later on. If I if I can't make a video in time, <laughs> don't move my fail safe just to just to um, keep you guys at bay. And I also got like an Outlast stream that I can upload to YouTube as well. I'm just going to upload the whole thing. I'm not even going to edit it because I don't have time to just edit a whole five hour video. <laughs> so I'm just going to upload that bitch and call it a day at one point. So that's also my fail safe. So bye. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until then, peace out. <laughs>